Okay, so what I like doing here is getting some basic tools. Um, right here, we got a couple. We got should have four screws. Okay, one, two, three, and then there's another one down here. Four. One, two, three, four. These two are five sixteenths. Okay, you can use a socket or whatever to get to that. And the other ones here are, I think, seven millimeter. Okay, so what I'll be using here is a 5 sixteenths, 7 millimeter, and a, uh, this is kind of a reamer, but what I'm using here, what I'm using it for is uh, to plug up the fuel line. Um, some people use like clamps and stuff like that to clamp the fuel line, but I don't like doing that because you start pinching the, an old fuel line, most likely you're going to crack it, break it, and it'll be leaking on you. So you can get away with just sticking this up in there. I'll show you how to do it. And it's nice to have something that tapers. Usually I use a, a, a starter punch that's got a, it's got a taper on it, and it can fit nicely into the fuel line to stop the flow because this is full of fuel. Um, so we want to go ahead and block that off. And since I'm going to have disconnected this, I will probably go ahead and drain some of the fuel out and take like a sample because if there is any water in here, which is really a possibility, uh, most likely that's what's going on here. Um, we'll take this fuel line off, take the carburetor off, and then we'll drain some of that fuel out to see if there is water. Uh, and if there is, it'll be collected in the bottom of the gas tank and it'll be at the very bottom of the carburetor float bowl. I'll show you that in a second. So let's go ahead <clears throat> and also, once I get everything off and the carburetor off, I'll also be using a, uh, a big flathead screwdriver to pry the bottom of the float bowl off. And you'll see that as I go here. So let's get this 5 sixteenths to work here. <clears throat> Take these big ones off. And I just leave these on the deck. Easy to uh, come back and pick them up later. I don't know why I don't make all of these the same size. Now, got this little 7 sixteenths here. Not, not, not 7 sixteenths, but 7 millimeter. And that's not even fitting, is it? Yeah, it does. It seems to. I don't know why it's not coming off. There it is. Okay. And that one. And right up underneath here is another one. Okay. Take those off. So remember, the, the little ones are on the inside, and then the 5 sixteenths are on the outer. Part. So we'll just take this off. So we have keep our screws. I like keeping them right on the deck here. As long as I'm not moving the mower around too much, it'll work just fine. And then we'll also need a uh, uh, some type of pliers to get down here. And we're going to take off the clamp that's right here on the fuel line. So a pair of pliers. I'm gonna go ahead and get my screwdriver out here too. So I don't know if you can see it. Oh my my phone's kind of coming apart here. My apologies. So right in there. Right down in there, if you can see it, is that clamp right there. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and grab that fuel line. I try to grab it right around where it connects onto the carburetor and give it a couple tugs. If it really doesn't want to come off, okay, now some fuel's coming out. Okay, and I'll grab it. I know I'm pinching it now, but I want to minimize the pinching as much as possible on that fuel line. And so I got it, and then I'm going to grab my reamer tool here, stick it in there, and try to keep it from, uh, push it in there like that. And this is just going to keep you from messing with the, uh, I'm sorry about that, got it out of the picture. So I'm just, I just stuck that in there, the pointy end of it. I'd really rather use my... 
my punch, okay? And then you're gonna go ahead and pull that straight off. And now this connection for the governor arm is gonna come off and you got it, okay? And that's it. Now there is a, a, te a Teflon piece and an O-ring. The O-ring is closest to me right now on this intake manifold. That's the O-ring. And then here's the Teflon piece. And this goes back in. We're going to set that right in here. O-ring first. And then the Teflon piece. And I'm going to go ahead and this is draining fuel out, and it looks like there might be a little water in there. I don't want to dump it out just yet. I'm going to set this down. For now, I don't want to dump out the fuel. Okay, and I'm going to come back out here. So I got the carburetor up here now. I dumped out a little fuel, but I'm going to go grab a jar and dump this fuel out. Okay, I'll show you something here real quick. When I took that carb off, some of the uh, fuel spilled down by that hose right there, and the gas itself has evaporated, but if you look real close, you can see what's still shiny there. That's water that'll be left over. So that water, that means there's water in that carburetor, and most likely there's some water in the gas tank as well. So we're going to check that out real quick. So I went and found me a jar. I got my jar, what I do with it. Glass jar. Okay, so I got me a little mason jar and a little fuel hose. I wish this was bigger. I can't find my big one that I had. Um, like, like it to be able to fit over and it doesn't look like this was this one's going to fit over find a different one okay well so i got this it's just a chunk of garden hose so i can stick it over this fuel line right here and we're going to drain out that some of the gas at least the stuff that's in the very bottom and that'll get the water out if there's any in there and so with this glass jar what you can do is check and see you're going to dump out this fuel out of here Take the carburetor and dump it out. And then we're going to check and see if it looks like there's any water in there. We'll eventually be taking this apart, but right now we're going to check and see if it uh, looks like it's got some water in there. Takes just a second to get it all out. Shake it around, get it all out of there. And now, once we have it in the glass jar, it's going to be easy to see if there's water contamination in the gasoline. So here's the gas, and you can just put it kind of sideways like this. It's kind of hard to see by this angle, but I can tell um, that there is water in there. Do you see that line going across the bottom there? That's water that's just in the carburetor. See that? So at, at a very bottom, there's a little bit of water at the bottom. Okay, so what we'll do is dump this out. Okay, now we're going to go for getting the water, if there is any, out of the fuel tank. Okay, so we got this. I'm going to pinch the line off real quick and then get this hose over here while I fill up this jar a little bit with some of the uh, fuel that's in the tank. We'll just let it drain a good bit down into this jar, lift it back up, put the plug back in there. Ah, I'll take out some more. It wants to flow, let it flow. Okay, I tried to avoid pinching that fuel line 
But here we could see, yeah, this, this gas is contaminated, and that may just be the main issue. Okay, so it looks like we probably got the, any water that was in the tank, should have been at the bottom, and we just drained that out. See that at the very bottom? Okay, so what I do is I'll just put this right back in to the tank. So I'll just let this sit for about an hour and let it settle. Okay, so that's that. I think we got the water out of there. That's good. And what we can do now is take and get the float bowl off of this carburetor. We're going to clean any water out of this thing. And this is another uh, seven millimeter. Get the bottom of this carburetor off the float bowl. I'll put these on that engine deck real quick. So you got two under here, All right? Put that over there, All right? So there's that. Now you want to get a big handle screwdriver here, and you want to pry at this right here or right here. I need a little bit bigger screwdriver. All right, so I got my jumbo, a bigger screwdriver, and I'm going to go ahead take this bowl off of the bottom here get it right here just need to get a little get a little prying force on that this might not even be big enough okay just get it to where it's kind of starting to grab wedge it up in there and then we'll go get to the other side okay see that's it take that off okay you can see the water droplets in there already so we got that water up in there I got some gas in there as well. I'm going to go ahead and dump that out. 